Welcome. The subject of this video is the ULN 2003 Transistor Driver Array. That's popular for use with Arduino, PIC, PICX, and other hobby microcontrollers. I am your host, Louis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. The ULN 2003 contains seven high voltage, high current Darlington drivers, each rated at 50 volts, 500 milliamps, all in a 16 pin DIP package. It also allows direct connection to digital logic without external dropping resistors. Here is a picture of the uh, 16 pin DIP. Notice the, if you can see it, there's a little indentation up here. This is pin 1. This is what uh, a drawing of what is internally in the package. Pin 1 being up here. Here is your indentation. Here are your seven Darlington transistor drivers. They, uh, note, invert the output. They are open collector. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, meaning that I can connect 5 volts directly in here and this output will switch to ground. It's the same with all seven Darlington pairs. Um, pin 8 is your ground and pin 9 is your diode common. These diodes in here are parasitic suppression diodes for use with relays, contactors, servo motors, etc. Basically, here is your basic Darlington transistor circuit. You have an you have a, that has an HFE generally of a thousand or more. That's DC gain. This consists of an output driver transistor, a pre-driver connected collector to collector, emitter to base, and then your out input digital logic through a base current dropping resistor you're going to have to have a minimum of three components. This one 16-pin chip can replace 21 of these separate parts. Here is the actual schematic of each amplifier stage in the chip, of which there's seven. Here is your Darlington transistors. Here is your input bias resistor that eliminates the need of an external input resistor. These resistors are used for stabilization. Here is one and, um, transient suppressor diode. There's actually set seven of these that all run back to a common at pin 9. Here is your open collector output. Here is your uh, common for all seven amplifiers. And here is another transient suppressor diode. So each of the seven contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts in seven amplifiers, all in a single 16 pin dip package. Now let's hook how we're going to hook it up. In this case, we're driving a unipolar stepper motor. Its common goes to 12 or 24 volts but it also ties to pin 9 of the ULN 2003. These are your uh, spike suppressor diodes. And the output, uh, four of the outputs, that's 13 through 16, can directly drive the coils up to 500 milliamps per coil. Over here, notice 1 through 4 connects directly to the digital output. In this case, a PC printer port. Uh, the grounds all tie back to pin 8 and that's the negative of the uh, stepper motor supply. Fairly simple. It saves a lot of wiring and a lot of headaches. Here is another example. I have connected um, seven 24 volt light bulbs. Um, this is what you would find in older pinball machines that use these light bulbs. 
Um, if anybody's been around a pinball machine, there's a lot of flashing lights. These were a lot of these were used in those pinball machines. 24 volts was a common voltage used with these lights. If you went ahead and tied a uh, push button switch to ground when you press the push button switch, uh, all of the lamps will light up. It serves as a lamp test because when you ground pin 9, all of the bulbs are connecting back through um, the spike suppressor diodes. Okay, pin 8, of course, is our common, and here are our seven digital inputs. It can directly interface to a microcontroller or other TTL digital logic. Here is another variation of the same thing. This time, we are using four 24-volt DC relays. Here and the four light bulbs are 120-volt light bulbs. Here is your AC hot. Here's your AC neutral. The relays, of course, isolate that 120 volts AC from the 24 volt DC driver circuit. And if you notice, pin 9, the suppressor diodes are tied back to plus VCC or 24 volts as well. Again, we ground this over here as always. And once again, these are 5 volt TTL digital logic signals. And that's all I need. I can fly, um, turn my 120 volt lamps on and off with these relays. <clears throat> now, you're probably thinking, who uses relays anymore? Well, they're still used a lot in programmable logic controllers in industry. Still, yep, industry still uses a lot of relays. And these make pretty good, these are excellent relay drivers. 24 volts is standard for a lot of these relays. All right, here is another situation. We know that each of the seven amplifiers can sync um, 500 milliamps, but what if I needed to run a one amp motor? Simply tie three of the outputs together, tie three of the inputs together, use them as a single input, and I can run my one amp motor. Now, don't really you're, you're cutting it too close if you're trying to use three 500 milliamp inputs to operate a um, 1.5 amp motor. That's cutting it a little close. But this gives you an idea that you can parallel the outputs and parallel the inputs to sync higher currents. Now I left this 24 volt light bulb as it was and I have a second motor with the three outputs paralleled and the three inputs paralleled for a total of three inputs to run one light bulb and two motors. And that's just some of the things you can basically do with the ULN 2003. And that concludes this introductory video. I hope it was useful to you. Catch the rest of the videos in my in this series on NPN and PNP transistors, MOSFETs, and H-Bridge motor controls. Thanks for listening.